All right, back in the morning brew, and it's time to visit with our good friends from Bernalillo County. And uh, John Barney is here uh, from Bernalillo County. He's a behind the scenes guy, so we have to drag him onto TV. Uh, John is uh, a planner uh, for Bernalillo County Parks and Rec, right? Yep. That's, Very glad to be that's here, your job. Yep. Hey, good to, good to have you back. And Monty Skarsgård is here from Skarsgård Farms. You've seen the pistachio colored trucks around town with the little tractor logo on there. He, that's him. <laughs> hey, Monty, Thanks good to meet me. you. Yeah, I appreciate it. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Uh, your company does what? I've seen the trucks all over town. They're great. Yep, we've got a 40 acre uh, organic farm in the South Valley off of this Leta by I 25. So we basically are growing down there and then uh, started a home delivery model. So we're trying to uh, move out of the grocery store so we don't have to have a high rent area. And we just bring food directly to people's doorsteps. Is it mostly produce or? We do produce. We raise about 100 pigs a year. We've got 700 chickens right now. Uh, we also work as a uh, aggregation point for other growers in the area. Fantastic. Yeah, so it's, there's a lot of fresh, fresh uh, produce and breads and everything. So a lot of right. great stuff. That ties in with what's going on with the county. You guys uh, threw in with uh, Bernalillo County here for this uh, special open space event this weekend. Uh, talk a little bit about it, John. Sure, Larry. Yeah, we have the backyard farming event. So uh, we, uh, this is one of our special events. We've been a regular series that we do at the Gutierrez Hubble House. It'll be at 1230. Uh, it's about hot bath canning. So do you know what hot bath canning is? I kind of know. Yeah. Oh, you kind of know. Did, so have you done it before? Uh, uh, yeah, a long time ago. Me too. But this is uh, this is where you're putting up fruits and vegetables in mason jars. Exactly. Yeah. Being able to store them for years if you want to. So this is, you know, the things that our grandparents knew how to do that we don't know how to do, but we're learning how to do again. Because if we're growing lots and lots of local food, how do we store it for when we don't? When that food's out of season. So, so you can be an organic farmer too in your backyard. Absolutely. That's what the whole series is about. Well, who better to teach you than <laughs> these exactly. guys? Well, and, and the county's also, you know, we're, we're putting a big push on local ag. And sure. We want to support it in any way we can. And I look to Monty, he's, he's one of the guys who I can talk to about these kinds of things and say, this is how you do it. So it's amazing. There's a lot of stuff happening right now. Big resurgence of people doing it in their backyards. As you walk through the streets, you hear the yes. chickens and uh, that's great yeah. to see. Yeah, this is great, great programming too that the the county's doing. Yeah, we had. Uh, 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 I'm trying to think of who it was. She brought her chickens down yeah. here. <laughs> yeah, Colleen. Uh, Col Colleen McRoberts. Uh, uh, the people are doing more and more of that, aren't yep. they? Yeah, it's amazing to see. And uh, one of the big things we see is that it, it involves the kids. And when the kids start to get involved early, then it doesn't leave them. And so they they make different food choices, and they're eating beets and they're eating broccoli when before people would be like, oh, they don't, kids don't eat that stuff. But when they get involved in the process, um, they do eat it and then they yeah. like it and, it and it's fun for them. And yeah. that's the kind of thing that we have fun with your food, play with your food and uh, yeah, be involved with it. So this event's going to teach, teach you how to backyard farm. It's going to teach you how to preserve, uh, the, preserve the things food. you grow and uh, put it all up. And if you don't know anything about any of that, this is a uh, Backyard Farming 101. Yeah, just come as you are, bring your kids. I yeah. mean, all our events are that way. They're free to the public. Um, we just want you to just come on down and just, uh, in this case, enjoy learning how to farm in your backyard. So uh, give us the details. What time and where? Uh, 1230 over at the Gutierrez Hubble House, which is down the South Valley off of Isleta, way down south. Um, actually, not far from your farm. Yeah, just north of us. So. Wow. And then we also have, you know, a twin bill at Bakeki too. So we have a, we have a busy weekend. I don't know how I'm, I'm going to be at both places. So <laughs> and, and Colleen's going to cover one, and I'm going to cover the other. Yeah. But uh, at 12:30, we also have the families exploring the wonders of nature over at Bakeki, uh, which is going to focus on shade and shadows with the change of seasons. And you know, the easiest way for, I always like to think about that is you think about it. You know, looking at you know out out in out in the. Uh, uh, yeah. Fields, you see like there's a tree. You know, where there's like uh, in the winter time, there's like you see a lot of snow on the north side of a tree. Well, that's because it's different. The climate is different, literally based right. on where you have shade and shadow. Anyway, I could go on for hours about that. I'm more <laughs> of an ecologist than a farmer, but anyway, <laughs> probably wouldn't interest everybody in the audience as much as me. Uh, and then the other event is, you know, if you're more of a history buff, come at 11.30, is it 11 o'clock, I guess. Uh, we have Archaeology 101. We'll have uh, a couple guys from the New, Me New Mexico State Archaeology Office talking about Pueblo uh, villages and ruins along the Rio Grande. Yeah, so. that kind of stuff so interesting. Yeah. Again, free. I mean, bring the kids. History lesson would be, you know, anyway. <laughs> but uh, 
what it is. I'm curious how how long you guys have been in the organic farming business. We started in Albuquerque, and I'm from here, but uh, came back in 2003. I was farming in the California and Washington State area, so we came back in 2003. So the farm has been uh, happening here uh, since uh, for 11 years. So we started in the North Valley at, at the Los Poblanos Ranch. Um, and then in 2008, kind of we outgrew each other. They had a, a booming lavender business and our produce business, so we uh, moved down to the South Valley at that point. Then when did you decide to go to the home delivery model? You know what, honestly, it was, uh, it was that first winter. It, it was a model that I had seen work very well in Seattle, um, mm -hmm. and also just not having a lot of money to start out. Um, you know, a van is, is a lot cheaper than buying a grocery store and, and having uh, shelving and all that stuff. So it was basically all we could do. So we, we, the van would be driving around uh, dropping off food, and it's just grown over the years. So we're doing about 1,600 uh, homes locally uh, a week right now. Oh, so do you subscribe to this? And subscribe to it. We do everything online. So our grocery store is basically an online, online website, um, and then you can go through and shop, and then that gives us time. We have a cutoff time at about 10 o'clock the day before, so then we can take our orders and send it to the bakery, and then the bakery will bake it overnight, drop it back off at 7 in the morning. So you get, I mean, bread that's literally baked for you, produce that's harvested wow. for you, and... Uh, fresh meats and eggs and just great stuff. Cool. So that's what's in those trucks. That's what's in those trucks, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. Hey, John, thanks for uh, coming down. This sounds like a great event. Another busy weekend for you guys at Bernalillo County. Absolutely. But, uh, good, valuable info. And, Monty, great to have you on the program. Nice to meet you, Larry. Appreciate yeah. it. Thank you. Thanks, Glad Larry. to have you here. Thanks. It's the Morning Brew with good info for you today. We'll be back for a final cup on the show right after this.